think we're good to go. Just about. Uh, music's a bit loud. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome. We got the car working again today. Um, it's finally not like minus 40. It's only like minus 15 out. So warm, uh, by comparison to what we've been experiencing lately. Yeah, it's only minus 15 right now. Like that's Celsius, right? So that's not very cold. So yeah, it went from minus 40 to minus 15 in one day. It's fine. It's totally normal. Nothing to worry about. Where are you going, Will? Oh, there you are. <laughs> ah! I don't know. I gotta go win some more, just 2,000 more tickets so I can get my skateboard. Oh. So the arcade then? To the arcade. Okie doke. This is Tower Unite. It's a really cool little social game for like 20 bucks on Steam. And uh, uh, totally worth it. There's like a whole ton of different mini games. You earn money with the mini games that you can go gamble with. Eventually you end up with either prizes or buying stuff to fill your virtual condo. And there's XP for everything. So you like level up and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there's no cheapness to this game. They're not, they're very, not trying to get you to spend more money. No, nah, it's very coherent. There's no microtransactions. It's a really good, fair model. I like this one. It doesn't give you a lot of tickets at once, but the jackpot is really easy to win. You get a lot of your money back. You put in five, five tokens, which is really cheap to enter, and you get at least like 40 to 50 tickets, like minimum. You get a lot of the times like up to 100 and some. So let's try this. This is a brand new coin river. All the shit's still in the middle. Alright. Oh! Yeah. All the shit's still in the middle! Oh, yeah, weak. Who would it, who would ever play this one? Oh, Wilbur would. Somebody has to get it going. I'm doing a service here. <laughs> Alright, we could do trivia. Trivia might be fun. Here. Oh, I don't want to join with a bunch of strangers. I'm a wuss. Anyway, in the board game Settlers of Catan, oh fuck. I've never played that game in my life. Shit. Creator of the Talho Project series is... Uh, Zun? I don't know. Ho! Oh! I guessed that one, I had no idea. <laughs> what year was McDonald's founded? I watched a movie on this once. God, I want to say, like, either 51 or 47. It was a long time ago. Uh, fuck. We were both wrong. I chose 55 because I thought maybe my gut instinct was wrong. Uh, a coat of arms from the King of Spain contains the arms under the... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> fuck. I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Never. okay. Right. I picked Granada because hello Mata, hello Fada, here I am at Camp Granada. Call of Duty Zombies. What is the name of Samantha Maxis's dog? What the fuck? Baxter? Fluffy. Baxter sounds like a better. I thought it was. I thought it was Baxter too. Was it? In the movie Gremlins, was the time of day? Oh, I know this one. Gremlins is super old. Used to freak me out when I was a kid. The old Gremlins movies, I was like, because my, my parents showed them to me and they showed me the fluffy Mogwai first. And they had, they made no mention that they would become evil murderers at some point during the movie. The word science stems from the word seer, which meaning to measure. Isn't it? To know, fuck. That makes sense. And I was thinking science is about measurements, but it's also about knowing things. Uh, we got the hippocampus is Latin for the name of what marine creature? The fuck? I didn't know that. I didn't even have a guess at that one. The default player model of Gary's Mod in Half-Life 2 is the character. Oh, shit. It's it's the uh, 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 uh. Christ. Damn it. I didn't know that's what the scientist's name was. I didn't know that's what the, the old bald dude's name. I played all the games. Fucking love Half-Life. The fairy type has made its debut in which generation of Pokemon Core series games? Any Pokemon fans out there? You got, we got a B? I think I'm gonna say B. Fuck. 
In the original Doctor Who series, 1963, fourth Doctor Tom Baker's scarf was how long? Five meter, five meter scarf? Seven meter scarf, Jesus fucking Christ. Who was the victim mentioned in the second KG-8 incidents in Ace Attorney Investigations Case 4? What the fuck does that even mean? Oh, actually true, this is true. And, and it was wrong, it was completely wrong. Thomas Crapper was the plumber who invented the flushing toilet. This is true because his name was fucking Crapper. No? They taught us that in school that Thomas Crapper made the Crapper. Is that not true? Maybe maybe they got the... It was Joseph Crapper or something? Maybe they got the first name wrong. It was someone Crapper. You look like Tony Hawk from like every angle except for right on. Then you're like, it's Todd Howard. <laughs> Todd Howard, you're not Tony Hawk. <laughs> this is Ember's house. Not mine. You can walk into it. It teleports you up to where I have a heart pool. What? Holy shit. What the fuck? Ah! No, it just vibrates. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see your vibrating heart shaped hot tub. Hey, hey. <laughs> we're going. We're I don't know why it does that. It does the shakies. It's the feature. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can find the helicopter if you want. Uh, space Wait, to go I'm... up, shift to go down. Uh, please do not. I died. I died the last time I flew. <laughs> I got distracted by cookies. What kind? No more questions. They're medicinal. They're medicinal cookies. Okay, so portals are weird. I don't. Hmm. I didn't realize I selected Tron mini golf. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs>